Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's tutorial guys, I'm going to show you how to fix packet loss in Valorant. So packet loss is sometimes will be revealed to you in a game and it will be shown to you when you get into a game and you start playing. It will be either shown to you on the left or in the tab when you click to see the, player, the player's uh, statistics. So this is a very commonly problem that will be appearing to you in Valorant and other, many other games such as Rocket League as well. So how can we fix that? Well. What you will need to do is simply this, go to your game and make sure that you are connected to a correct server. This is very important. So once you try to go to a game here, so if I want here to any matchmaking game, make sure that you are either on the green ones, better be on the first one because it will be the best pink. The second thing is you need to install this application. It is called Cloudflare 1.1.1. This is like the domain name. <laughs> it's very weird, but yeah, this is a really very good application it will make your internet safer and it will fix your internet uh, uh, bytes and makes it much more better in very ways so sometimes you will need to use it sometimes you will not so make sure to have it on your pc it's just a simple add-on it will make your uh, dns the fastest dns solver on earth so what you will need to do once you install it you simply have to click and turn it on for me it's not working because i have another vpn turned on that is why it is not working but overall it should be working for you without any problems once you do that simply go in the game and it will fix the spikes or basically the packet loss problem on your device on your game valorant whatever the game is it will fix it without any problems of course there will not, there might be other reasons for this problem like your router problem so you need to re reload reload your router simply go to your router and simply log it off or turn it off wait a couple of seconds and turn it on this could be resetting your network and simply connecting you to better servers instead of the old ones and yeah that was it for today's video thanks a lot for watching see you guys in the next tutorial